Oh, hello. Yep, same outfit. New hairdo. Totally feeling cocky because it was a Barbaresco and it was 2010. So let's do another wine. Feels super good about that. Um, the alcohol was 14%, so I probably should have guessed it was a little higher. Um, the uh, the body structure calls, all the pieces of it. Um, I think I put it together pretty nicely. So I feel really, really good about that. Um, Nebbiolo Barbaresco, like killer. All right, so let's do a white. Um, this white wine is pale yellow, um, some si like shimmery silver highlights, very bright, very clear, very clean, no sediment, no gas. Um, I mean, it looks light to medium body, but white wines, yeah. So, it smells delicious. It is apple and lemons. So, um, bright yellow apples, crisp, tart to ripe, uh, lemon flesh, lemon skin. It's very like zesty lemon, bright, crisp. Um, it's just very yellow. There's a little sandy quality. There's a little white flower, um, just a, a hint of um, green, um, like leaf petal. Um, but the minerality is kicking on the nose. The acidity is kicking on the nose. There's a little bit of like doughy. I wonder if this has lees aging on it because there is that little funk lees doughy kind of hint to the nose and a little bit of um like beer yeast funky i do not smell or see something that would let me think that there's oak on this at all um, i'm gonna move to the palette wine is dry um, the um, fruit character still ripe but backed up a little bit just ripe just ripe tart um, lemon apple apple skin more here uh, lemon flesh um, it is it is citrus and tart and crispy uh, the flower dandelion dandelion petals um, that minerality is here um, stony sandy even um, and there's that little bit of, of pithy bitter um, combo with lemon and combo with um, like a phenolic bitterness kind of idea here. So narrowing it down, no oak. The green comes out a little bit more. There is a... Um, a bitter green, a crisp, crunchy salad green. Um, yeah, there's that bitter phenolic green. So, um, and the citrus comes out a little bit more. So dry wine uh, from the structure calls, I'm gonna say um, medium plus acidity, um, <clears throat> medium bodied, um, there's medium minus alcohol. It's not really a big thing. Um, body bitterness um, okay so um, and it's dry I said that so we're going to talk initial conclusion so I think that what we have here is either a Sauvignon Blanc or a Pinot Grigio um, it is not quite aromatic enough for Sauvignon Blanc usually um, that jumps out of the glass a little bit more for me but it's also so pale in color I don't really see anything that like color-wise takes me to Pinot Grigio because there's just no skin contact possible if this is a Pinot Grigio. Um, what else could it be? Uh, could be Albarino, not quite floral and not quite fruity enough. There's a little bit of fruit, but not enough. Um, it is a, a moderate, medium character, you know, mild little white, um, which makes me want to do Pinot Grigio. Um, but again, that citrus, the acidity call that's higher. Um, could be that this is Sauvignon Blanc. Um, could be let's do that B 
beer lees could be muscadet and could be green belt leaner um that lazy doughy funky beer phenolicness um could be muscadet um surly from um melon de Borgogna from muscadet Sevra Ed Main, which has some surly contact which is on the ocean which gives it that a little bitterness, a little pithiness, um, and that little doughiness. Could be Gruner. Um, it's it's a lower quality, cheaper Gruner. Um, that crispy, watercressy, bitter green kind of thing in the phenolics could be that Gruner. Um, I'm going to lean towards one of those two, and because of the minor components and the just lack of super aromatics, I'm going to go with Muscadet. Um, so could be super young, one to three years. The grapes that I'm talking about lend to France and Italy um, and um, cool climate, old world. Final conclusion. This is a Milan de Borgogna from Muscadet Sevre of Men. This is a 2018 um, and that is in France. It is off the Loire Valley and uh, let's do that. All right. Took too long, but it's delicious. Go drink wine. Thanks everybody um, to Riedel for this beautiful glass, to my husband for pouring it for me and not telling me what everything is, and to the beautiful Barbaresco that led to this second tasting of the night. Stay safe everybody, wash your hands.